Okay. Come again. And thanks a lot. Can you believe they gave us four tickets to the sold out Famous Trucks of All Time exhibit at the museum? All those great trucks in one place. It just goes to show how much he appreciated our service. I can't wait to hear all those amazing trucks tell their stories. Well, when I was a youngin, I used to work at a place that we called a truck stop. And I had to actually use my wipers to clean my own windshield. Wow. I wonder if there will be old racing trucks at the museum. Probably. Let's see. I'm going to take Holly as my date, and there's a ticket for you. That leaves an extra ticket. How about you invite one of your friends? Power and pickups! That would be awesome! I'll go do it now! <laughs> Guys, guess what? I'm going to the Famous Trucks of All Time exhibit at the museum. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Who wants to come with me? I want to go! Oh, me, me, me! That'd be so great! Oops. Uh, I just remembered. I only have one ticket. Hmm. I like famous trucks. I really like famous trucks. I really like you, Chuck. I can tell this isn't going to be an easy choice. Want to play truck tag with us? You know how good you are at it. The best. Well, uh, well... You tagged me. Good job, Chuck. Sorry, guys. I can't play. I have to go back and help my dad. Oh, I hope he picks me. No, no, me. Oh, I'd do anything to go. Thanks, son. Only 20 more barrels to stack. 20? It feels like we've already stacked 20 Kirsch million. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a real number, Chuck. However many barrels there are, they're no problem if I'm lending you a hand. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Andy. Yeah, that was a big help. Oh, I was nothing. Hey, Chuck, do you know who you're taking to the museum yet? Because I bet it's going to be great. I haven't picked yet, but I'll let you know when I do. I'll find that tire, Dad. <gasps> Whoa, sorry, Rowdy. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I should have honked sooner. I wouldn't want to hurt my BFT. Best friend truck? Wow. That's really nice of you, Rowdy. Oh, no problem. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, did you um decide which of your best friend trucks you're taking to the museum? I haven't even had a chance to think about it. I was helping my dad, and a tire fell out of my bed. I have to find it. H hang on! Uh, maybe one of these is the one you want. If not, I, I can go find some more for you. Uh, no. Thanks, Rowdy. These will be great. Wow, Chuck. Are you even faster than usual today? I don't think so, Boomer. But thanks. Because I've never seen you this fast. You're like one of those famous racing trucks of the past. Oh, speaking of that, have you decided what you're going to do with that museum ticket? Huh? I haven't really... Whoa! Thanks, Boomer. That was a close call. You really saved me. That's what friends are for, Chuck. I couldn't let you fall. Then you might not be able to go to the museum. Right. With whoever you pick to go with you. Chuck, could you please deliver these to the proving grounds? Chuck? Chuck? Huh? I'm starting to think you've got a clog in your intake valves, kiddo. Sorry, Dad. I just can't decide who to bring to the museum. They've all been so cool and nice to me. I wish I could get some more tickets, but the program has been sold out for months. Chuck! There you are! Look! Your favorite hubcap? I remember when you found it. Don't you only bring that out for special occasions? Yep. You want to borrow it? Are you serious? You've never even let anyone else touch it. 
Oh, you're not just anyone else, Chuck. Keep it as long as you like. Wow. Chuck, you still need to deliver those boxes. Right, Dad. Well, Rowdy, I guess I'll have to wait to play with that hubcap. Don't worry. I'll do your work while you play. Really? Really. Thanks, Rowdy. You're the best. Oh, Rowdy gave Chuck his favorite hubcap. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Boomer. Look what Rowdy gave me. He's never let anyone else play with it before. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, hey, want to play Outer Space Trucks? That's one of your favorite games, right? I'll be the alien truck. But I thought you hated that game, Boomer. Nah, it's okay. As long as I'm playing with my best bud. And maybe if you take me to the museum, then we might see some real space explorer trucks. Chuck! How did you get so dirty? I'll have you shining in no time. Isn't that better? Yeah, I guess. Handy, Chuck and I were just about to start playing. Chuck needs to be in tip-top condition when he goes to the museum to see that exhibit, for which he has that extra ticket. You're being nice to Chuck just to get the extra ticket. But what about you? I saw you playing alien truck. You're trying to get that extra ticket too. Oh. And today you just happened to decide to share your favorite hubcap? You want that ticket as bad as we do. Who are you taking? Who are you taking? Who are you taking? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Chuck, pick me. I've known Chuck long. I don't even like famous Chuck. I've got I've more knowledge about all what of he, he calls me. He doesn't even have your number. Guys, stop. Good night, Mr. Machine. Hmm. Why the Great Grill, Chuck? My friends all want to go to the museum. They've all been so nice. I can't decide who gets the extra ticket. You should sleep on it. Give yourself a little time to relax. Maybe you'll have an answer in the morning. Suffering spark plugs. I sure hope so. You will, son. Good night. Good, Good night, night, Chuck. Chuck. Just a dream. But at least now I know what to do. Mom, Dad, I've decided what to do with the extra ticket. See? I told you things would be clear in the morning. But Chuck, who are you inviting, Chuck? I want to take all of you. And since I can't, I'm giving the extra ticket to... to you guys. And you can have my ticket too. Oh! <gasps> if I make one of my friends happy, I'm gonna make two of my friends unhappy, and that's gonna make me unhappy. So mom, dad, you invite two of your friends. But watch out, it's really hard to choose. Oh, uh, come on, Chuck, you should go. Yeah, forget about us. Well, one of us should get to go, and it should be you. What a wonderful thing you're doing, honey. You would rather give up your own ticket than have to choose between your friends. And you boys don't want Chuck to miss out. You are very good friends. Chuck, we're giving you our tickets. That way you and all your friends can go to the museum. But what about you? As it turns out, we checked with the museum this morning and found out that more tickets went on sale. <gasps> so now we'll get two extra tickets and take all of you to the exhibit. Woohoo! Famous trucks of all time, here we come! I can't believe we're all here at the museum together! We'll have a great time, but when we get back, we'll have to catch up on work. Work? No problem. My friends love helping me out. Right, guys? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Watch 
we do it yeah any day any time you know i'm up to it i got what it takes to come through cause there's nothing i can't do gonna make all my dreams come true cause there's nothing i can't do to my little brother, Chuck. <gasps> I'll tell you, winning the Big Time 500 is a big achievement. It's like climbing the highest mountain and finally reaching the peak. Maybe you can, but you need to work hard and practice like Rally. I'll practice every day, Dad. But right now, I'm going to tell my friends the great news. Yahoo! And then Rally slid into the inside lane. Run! And then slid to the outside and run! won the race. Rowdy, I was afraid he wouldn't find me in there. <laughs> ah, Chuck, you know I can find anything anywhere. So what did Rally get for winning the race? That's the best part. He got a huge, shiny trophy. <laughs> you could fit inside of it, Rowdy. <gasps> really? It sure would be great to win a trophy. I'd never won anything before. We're still pequeño, still small, Rowdy. Someday, we'll have a chance to win a trophy like Rally. I wish we didn't have to wait. Maybe we don't have to. Power and pickups. How about we build our own trophy? <laughs> Great idea. Let's do it. Everybody, I have the perfect spot for it in the diner. What? But I was thinking I could bring it back to my house. No, no, I have the perfect place for it in my room. Me too. But there's only one trophy. Who gets to keep it? Well, they give trophies to the one who's the best. Like Rally was the best racer when he won the Big Time 500. We could have a race too. The winner gets the trophy. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah! Okay, partners. Mark, get set, go! Thanks, Rowdy. Well, since I'm the best, it looks like I get to take home the trophy. <sighs> Un momento, Chuck. You were the best on the paved track. But what about other kinds of races? After all, I was built to roll over bumpy stuff. I say we race again, this time around the hills of the parts yard. But, but... It's only fair, Chuck. <sighs> to the parts yard. On your mark. Get set. Vamos! I can't get control of. Ow! My steering wheel! Whoa! I'm about yet! Fall oh, over! Oh, oh, oh. Look, look out! Uh oh! Clean up on aisle five! Hasta la vista! <laughs> Yay! 
trophy. <sighs> Not so fast. You want to race, and I want to race. We're even. And actually, neither of those races were fair. I'm plenty fast, but with my tires, I'm better at going around and under and over things. There were no obstacles in those races. Fine. One more race. We'll build an obstacle course on the dirt track. Let's go. <sighs> Finished. <sighs> Get yourself set and wahoo! Yeah. I guess I'm the best, y'all. I'm coming! I'll be right there! Uh, guys? Hey, guys! But we all won a race. My race was the real race. I think mine was. Guys, we all won the race we were good at. To find out who's best, we need to have one more race. One that has obstacles, bumps, and paved track. Right, Rowdy? Uh, Rowdy? Over here! Thanks, guys. I guess I'm just not very good at obstacles either. That's okay. We're still going to have one more race to find out once and for all who's the best. I don't know, Chuck. I didn't win any of the other races. In fact, I came in last every one. You can't give up, Rowdy. My dad says the only way to get good is to work hard and practice. I do work hard, and I practice a lot, but I'm no good at obstacles, no good at speed. You guys run the last race. I'll just watch. No, come on, Rowdy. It's more fun if you race, too. Yeah, it's not the same without you, Rowdy. Yeah, totally. Totally. You gotta race. No, that's okay. I'll see you when you're done. Well, if you're sure. Okay, guys. Let's set up the course. One lap around the proving grounds. One lap around the obstacle at the dirt track. And then a final lap around the parts yard where the best racer gets the trophy. On your mark, get set, go! gets to keep it, I guess. You know, maybe we care too much about that trophy. What do you mean, Chuck? Well, I wanted to be the best so badly that I cut you off, Digger. Biggs, I drove past you when you needed help. That's not how a friend acts. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we all did some things that weren't real nice. I bumped into you and Digger because I wanted to beat you all, too. Sorry, fellas. We were so determined to beat each other that we stopped treating our friends, well, like friends. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Rowdy. Look, guys, I guess we proved that nobody is the very best and that all three of us were good at something. Maybe we're better off without the trophy. Here's your trophy, guys. Huh? Rowdy! You found it! You guys deserve it. Each of you is good at racing. <sighs> I wish I was good at something. Rowdy, you are great at something. Me? But I, I lost every race. Yeah, but you found the trophy. No one else could have done what you did, Rowdy. You're the best. I... I am? Da-da-da-da! 
I hereby award this trophy to... Rowdy! For being the best at finding things! Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, shucks, guys! <laughs> I'm honored! You deserve it, Rowdy! Hey, I have an idea! Let's split into teams and play hide-and-seek! As long as I'm on Rowdy's team, he's the best seeker! I was going to be on Rowdy's team! No, me! No, me! Looks like we're almost done. You boys have been terrific helping me fix this engine. Thanks for letting us help, Mom. A good fixer-upper can always use a couple extra tires, honey. Okay, it's time to put this engine back and I'm going to use my brand new winch to do it. Here it comes. I feel fantastic, Holly. Well, I couldn't have done it without my assistance. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. No problem. Sure, it was fun. Come on, I'll ride back to the diner with you. Can I count on my assistance to help clean up? You bet, Mom. Did you hear that? That truck is running again because we helped. Yeah! Chuck, you better put the brakes on a little, old buddy. Oh, relax, Biggs. We're the best assistants ever. in there we could bring back in place of this one. Then my mom would never know I did anything wrong. Won't it look different from this one, Chuck? If it does, we'll paint it or whatever to make it look the same. Now, come on. Okay, Boomer, start the truck lift. Now use your ladders to sweep it into Rowdy's bed. Let's get to the parts yard. Uh, it's your mom. She's coming back. She'll see the winch isn't here. Okay, helpful assistants. How did we do cleaning up the... Wow, Mom. Helping you out sure made us hungry. Can we have some lunch? After all your hard work, you certainly deserve it. I'll run down to the diner and come back and get you when it's ready. See you in a few minutes. You heard her. We only have a few minutes. Let's go. Did anybody have any luck finding a winch? I sure didn't. I found some biscuits. I found a phone book. And, and I found a mattress. It's pretty comfy, actually. Uh, but no winch. If you put all this stuff together, it wouldn't add up to a winch. That's it! What's it? Where's it? Maybe there's no winch in the parts yard, but there's gotta be stuff here that when we put it together, can look like a winch. Chuck, maybe we should just tell your mom what happened. 
Boomer, we can still make this work, but we have to hurry. The way I figure it, we need three things. A metal box, a long metal arm, and a hook to hang from it. Come on! Does anyone see anything that might help us? Anything at all? Like a long pole that could be used as a metal arm? Exactly! Something just like that. Wahoo! I done found one! Great work, Biggs. But how are we going to get it all the way out there? In all that mud and goop? <gasps> mud and goop! This looks like a job for Rowdy! Mud's too deep for me to roll out. Uh, how are we going to get Rowdy and the pole out of there? And fast. You're the guy who can help us build the answer, Boomer. Huh? I am? Uh, Rowdy, I know you like mud, but you can't stay in there forever. Uh, Great. Now we just need a hook and a metal box. Over there! Boomer, can you use your ladders to grab it? Uh, I'd be too nervous trying to grab something so far away. Look how that box is almost falling over. If I knocked it over, it, it could get dented. Then we couldn't use it. So how do we get to it? Hmm. We do it with the ends of your horns, Biggs. Boomer's ladders are too big for the job but your horns are small enough to pick out all the parts around the box so we can get it. Go for it. That's it. This ain't so hard. Biggs, slow down or you're... Ah, yeah. Oh, no! Cool. Now all we need is a hook, and we're done. And we need it right away. How do we get all the way up there to get that? Wait till we're older and taller? It'd be easy if that were a normal hill. We could just roll up there and get it. But this pile would fall right over if we did that. But you guys won't fall over if I try to climb you. Huh? Guys. We need to find some wood planks so we can build a ramp. <laughs> Sorry, Biggs. I know I'm heavy. No sweat, buddy. I'm rough and tough. Good work, guys. Almost there. Okay, Boomer, lift me up. There. Please hurry and get that hook. Your mom will be back at the repair center soon. Okay. I'm just gonna nudge the pile so it falls into my bed. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I can't believe we got back here before your mom Chuck. Hurry up and bring the wind chip. How does it look? Well, it looks like a winch, kinda, sorta, if you look at it in the right light and squint. Well, it's the best we could do. Let's get it in place. Who's hungry? I've got a great big lunch waiting for you boys back at the diner. Gee, <laughs> thanks, Mom. While you're eating, I think I'll clean up the new winch from this morning's repair. Let me just turn it on. <gasps> oh, no! How could this have happened? My brand new winch, I liked it so much. I broke your winch, Mom. You did? It was an accident. I was messing around, and I didn't want you to know. Well, you know better than to mess around in here, Chuck. 
and I'm disappointed you didn't tell me right away. But the important thing is, you did tell me. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, honey. Now, where's my real winch? everything right away. Mom, how can I make it up to you? Well, maybe you could help me with another repair? Yeah! Friends for the long haul! Since we want to keep the equipment neat, I think you better clean up first. Oh, <laughs> sure, Mom. When we come back in, we'll be spotless. And we'll be very careful. Let's go, guys! Me, Chuck? Especially you, Rowdy. Out bouncing around imagining stuff like usual. Huh? Hey! Oh! Sorry, guys. I was just practicing some fender ball. Fender ball? What's fender ball? Only the best sport ever. After truck racing, that is. How do you play? One truck rolls the ball to another who bumps it as far as he can. Then the other trucks try to catch the ball and tag the bumper before he zooms around all the bases for a home run. Sounds fun! Let's play right now! Okay, but I have to warn you, I'm pretty good. Actually, I'm pretty great. Rally taught me everything he knows. Really? Yup, in fact, I'm probably going to be a star fender ball player and a champion truck racer when I get bigger. Well, Maybe we can all be star fender ball players. Let's go! <laughs> Actually pretty great, huh, Chuck? <laughs> uh, I just took my eye off it for a second. This next one's going to the moon. <laughs> Are you sure you're rolling it right? <laughs> I'm just rolling him. If you miss this next one, that's strike three, and someone else gets to try. Good one, Chuck. That's going really far. Looks like I'm out. Okay, Biggs, you're up. I'm ready. Here's a fast one. Try to bump this. I've got it. <laughs> Best bump I've ever seen. But then again, I've only played this game once. Hey, Chuck, nice try. If you were just a little bigger, you would have gotten me out for sure. Right. It's okay that you're better at Fender Ball than me. After all, you're bigger and older. Biggs is bigger, but Chuck, your birthday party was in the spring, and Biggs's isn't until the winter. See, that makes you older. You mean I'm older and smaller than you? Uh, it looks that way. Oh, hey guys, I have to go home for lunch. I'll see you later. Bye. Adios. See ya. I wish I was big like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Welcome home, son. You look bigger every time I see you. I guess I'm just a big guy, Mom. Hey, Chuck, welcome back. You're huge. Check out the size of these tires. I can't wait until I'm really big like you, Chuck. <sighs> it's good to be big. <sighs> yeah, it's good to be big. And that's why I'm going to get big right now. <laughs> Chuck, we were worried about you. Where have you been? <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> Boy, Chuck, you may not be as big as a grown-up, but you sure can put on the speed. Well, I'm planning on getting fast and big right now. Uh... Okay. And I know that between your cool tools and your awesome gadgets, we'll be able to figure out a way to make me bigger. Are you in? Sure. But I never thought of you as Big Chuck or Little Chuck in the first place. Yeah. To us, you're just Chuck. But if there's a way to make you big, we'll find it. Friends for the long haul! a great idea. Does anyone have one? Well, I'm always taller when I put on my fat off-road tires. Look! Wow! Those are great! But I don't have fat off-road tires. And I don't see any here to use. How about if we just give your regular tires a lot more air? That will make you bigger for sure. Great idea! Pump them up, Handy! Hey, it's working! I'm bigger! <laughs> Take a spin! I can see everything! Look! I can almost touch the sun! I'm Chuck the Giant! Huh? Going over that rock made your tire's air cap pop off! All the air came out! It's okay, Chuck. The rest of your tires are still big. Keep going! You still got one big tire. I think we need to refill my tires and find another idea. Hey guys, come here a minute. Notice anything? You're on top of a hill? I'm on top of a hill, which makes me bigger. This is the answer. Wherever I go, I'll always stay on top of a hill. That's a good idea, Chuck, but... I'll just need to drive behind Handy at all times. He can build a hill, and I'll stay on top of it. I can do my best. Let's try it out. Uh... How's the view from way up there? Great! Keep going, Handy. Are you okay? What happened? This is a good idea, but I think you need 100 of me to make it work. Maybe. And besides, I can't just dig up the ground everywhere I go. What if you have to go into the repair center? Or the diner? Or anywhere but here? I guess you're right. Just going to have to think of something else. I've got it! How about new extra shiny paint? The more you shine, the bigger you'll look. I don't want to look bigger. I want to be bigger. Let's keep thinking. I know. We can blow up a bunch of balloons and put you on top of them. You'll be big and cool looking. And poppable. There's got to be a way. Hey, it's a flyer for the circuits that came through here last week. That's it! Are you sure you want to try this? If the clown truck in the picture can do it, then so can I. Okay, let's go. 
No one said being big was gonna be easy. It's working! Good job! Great going, Chuck. Chuck! Is that my dad? Chuck! It sounds like he needs me. Mom? Dad? What's wrong? Biggs is stuck. He went inside to find a part, and now he can't get out. You're the only one who can fit in there and help him. I'm the only one who can help him? I'm going in. Biggs? Over here, partner. I came in here looking for a chrome tailpipe. But as soon as I got in, bam! The axle dropped behind me. And darn if I ain't too big to turn around and move it. Don't worry. I can do it. did it, big buddy. I'm not big. Well, you are to me right now, partner. Yay! Yeah, no, 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 no. We wouldn't have been able to get him out of there without your help. I guess it is good to be a little guy sometimes. But I still can't wait to get big. Don't worry, you're only little for now, and you're growing up fast. Too fast, if you ask me. Mom. I just think, big or small, you're perfect the way you are. Hey, guys! Cats! <laughs> hey! Who's a free game of Fender Ball? Hey! Great idea! Great idea! I love Fender Ball! <laughs> is totally different than the dirt track. It just takes some practice. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you ready for another spin around the track? Sure. But I wish my little brother would say hello to me first. Rally! Bumpers, Bumpers up. up! Hey, little speedster. Soku, Handy, Digger, Biggs, how are my favorite little guys? Cool. Great! Wait I'm not racing this weekend, so I came to hang out with my little brother and his buds. And, Chuck, I brought you another decal. Wow. Cool. Wow. Muy bueno. I have a bunch of those. They're really, really cool. I've been collecting them forever. What are we going to do while you're here? Can you coach us? Sure. I've got some time to pass along a few tips. That's great. Yeah, but I could use a few tips. We're gonna work hard and have fun all day. Rally's the one who taught me to race on pavement. Before that, I just raced on dirt. Then you can really help me. It's tough to switch, but look how good Chuck is now. Thanks, Rally. But I wouldn't know anything if it weren't for you. Rally's been coaching me since before I could rule. He's taught me more than he's ever taught anyone. Do you have the answer, Chuck? That's easy. The answer is me. <laughs> Nailed it! Way to go, little speedster. Okay, everyone, line up on the track and show me what you've got. Hmm. Biggs 
looks like he's a little nervous on the turn. <laughs> Everyone looks great! Hey, Biggs, those turns are a little tricky, aren't they? No, sir. Maybe a little. I totally understand. You know, I used to be afraid of the turn when I was your age. You? I sure was. I thought if I went too fast, I'd go right off the edge. I have a trick for you. As you get near the turn, growl at it. You want me to growl? Yeah, you know. Grrr. Grrr. You got it. Now take a spin. Way to go, little speedster. Hey, wait. I'm little speedster. Now that those turns are afraid of you, let's work on picking up speed on the straightaways. Straightaways! I'm great at straightaways. I remember everything you taught me, Rally. <laughs> how was that, Rally? Was it great? Sure it was, Chuck. You know, since you already know how to do all of this, you might have more fun playing tag with your friends. Oh, okay. Hey, Chuck. What are you doing here? I thought you were hanging out with Rally. I want to hang out with Rally, but all Rally wants to do is hang out with Biggs. Rally is spending a lot of time with Biggs, but it's only because he's helping him. I know he's your brother, Chuck, but he's kind of like a big brother to all of us. I know. And it's neat that my friends love my brother the same way I do. It's just, he's not home much, and I like spending time with him when he's here. I know. How about if we find a way for all of us to hang out with Rally? That way no one will feel left out. That's a great idea. How about a game? A game so fun that no one could refuse it. Let's think. Power and pickup. I've got it. Follow me. <laughs> Are you ready to rumble? Check me out. I look good. I'm giving myself a helping hand. I don't think they heard us. Maybe we should be louder. Hey, guys! This is a really great game of Monster Truck. You're doing great. Now I sure home. wish Biggs and Rally would play with us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just ask them to play. Good idea. Hey, Biggs, Rally. Do you guys want to play Monster Truck with us? Biggs is the best at Monster Truck. Are you a little speedster? Yeah, he's really good. Well, thanks, Chuck. Yeah, I like Monster Truck. I'm pretty good. Do you want to take a break? You've been working really hard. Are you going to play? Not this time. I don't want to take a chance and get hurt before my next race. But you go play. I'll watch. Yeah, come on, Biggs. You play, and I'll watch with Rally. If I don't play, can we keep training? Sure, if you'd rather. You're rootin' tootin' right, I would. After all, you're not here very much. All right, then. Let's go. Do you want to go watch them? Yeah, maybe if we're all there, then they'll stop training and we can all hang out together. It's worth a try. You're doing great. Now let's put it all together. First you just... First you leap out of the starting line. Then you pick up speed on the straightaways. Zip through and around the turn and bring it on home. How was that, Rally? Good. But now let's give Biggs a chance, okay? I could race against him. You know, make it a little more real. Maybe in a while, all right? How about... Chuck, let Biggs practice, buddy. What's going on, buddy? 
That was really close to a crash. I'm sorry, Rally. And Biggs, I'm really sorry. I messed up. I miss Rally so much when he's gone. And then he came home and I was so excited. And all he wanted to do was hang out with you and I got jealous and I wanted my brother back and, well, you know the rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're still friends for the long haul. And I'm powerful sorry too. I wasn't trying to take your brother away. No one is taking anyone away. Chuck, your friends are my friends and I want to help them the same way I help you. Guys, why don't you take a spin? Chuck will be there in a sec. And then I'll watch all of you. You got it, Rally. Hey, what does Rally always say? Over, around, and through. Trucks go and see and do. Come on, little speedster. We may all be friends, but I only have one little brother. And you know nothing will ever change that. Yeah, I, I guess I forgot for a second. OK, maybe I forgot for a whole minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chuck, come race with us. Sure, but there's something I've got to do first. Speaking of what should have happened a long time ago... <gasps> cool! Oh. Since we're all Rally's friends, we should all have a Rally decal. Golly! Cool! Bueno! Thanks! And now we should let Rally finish working with Biggs. Actually, I was hoping we could all play some more Monster Truck. But Rally can't play. I can be the judge. I can't wait to see what you guys have got. Okay, but only if you give us all tips. All of you? All of us. I think I can handle that, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> now come on! Give me a mountain to climb And watch me do it Yeah Any day, any time You know I'm up to it Got what it takes to come through Cause there's nothing I can't do Gonna make all my dreams come true Cause there's nothing I can't do Everybody wore those kind of hubcaps back then. What's that a picture of, Dad? Ah, that. That was the day your mom and I first met. Really? How did it happen? We saw each other from across the dance floor. I felt a warm breeze through my grill. Stars were in both of our eyes. And then the band started playing our song. She was already grooving on the dance floor. It was amazing! Holly was always impressed with my dance moves. Let's see if I still got it. Okay, rigs and rigettes. It's time for the Soul Truck Show. This is where your dance and truck show off your best moves. Time to strut your, well, to strut your truck. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Porter, I've been looking all over for this riveter. Oh, I took it this morning to fix one of the tool cabinets. Without asking me? Well, you weren't there, so I figured... Porter, I needed it, and I didn't know where it was. And now I'm going to be late on a repair. I wish you'd returned it to me. I was going to return it, Holly. I just hadn't had a chance yet. 
Well, you could have at least told me. Okay, Gunter, be right there. I've got a customer. We'll talk about this later. I certainly hope so. And then she said, I certainly hope so. Like she was really upset. Whoa, that does sound like she was kind of upset with him. She was upset, and he was upset back at her. My parents have arguments sometimes. I don't like it. Me neither. It makes my engine parts feel all rumbly inside. At least until my folks make up. Well, they didn't make up yet. And now I'm worried that they'll stay angry at each other. I don't get it. I just saw pictures of them when they first met. And they looked so happy. It's so funny to look at old pictures of your parents. Imagine if we could go back in time and meet them when they were younger. Wait a second. Maybe we can. Power and pickups. Uh, Chuck? You want to go back in time? Of course not, Andy. But we can remind my parents of what it was like when they first met. Okay, guys, here's what we'll need. We'll lure my mom and dad to meet accidentally. Then just like the day they met, they'll see each other from across the room. They'll feel a warm breeze, and they'll see stars in their eyes. And then the band will start playing their song. Hit it! for them to meet by accident. Hmm, maybe we can make the accident happen on purpose. Stay here. <gasps> hey, Dad. Uh, I was hoping you could, uh, fix my toy truck. Yeah, one of the axles is broken. Broken axle, huh? I don't know. I'd need to borrow a tool from your mom, and she's still not happy with me about the last time I borrowed one. With that toy truck. Please. Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay. Stay right there. Perfect. I'll get the toy truck. Oh, and a smile would be nice. Huh? Get ready. I'll be right back. Mom? Mom, we need you to fix one of my toy trucks. I can't, Mr. Machine. I'm working on a faulty muffler here. Can it wait till later? Well, we really want to play with it. Now! Okay, but I can only stay away from the shop for a moment or two. That's all we'll need. Come on! The oil cans are in the left side, cupboard, Gunter. Oh, never mind. I'll be right there. Hit it! Probably taking another tool from my repair shop without asking. Chuck, what's going on? And where's the broken toy you wanted me to fix? Uh, oh, I guess we forgot to bring it with us. Well, when you get it, just bring it to me in the repair shop, okay? This is harder than I thought. And Mom and Dad are still upset at each other about the tool he borrowed this morning. Too bad there's not a party to invite them to. Then we could just send them each an invitation. And they both have to show up at the same time. That's a great idea. <laughs> uh, Chuck, you want to have a party? Not exactly, Handy. But I need you to write a note. Two notes, actually. A 
note was delivered for me? Dear Porter, I need to talk to you about our disagreement. Would you please meet talk me in the... Talk to you about our disagreement. Would you please meet me at the parts yard at exactly 4 o'clock? Love, Porter. I think it worked. Here she comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. <gasps> Hit it! She was a mini cruising on the dance floor. Porter, it still bothers me that you took my riveter without asking. Well, I wish you'd have given me a little time to bring it back. Wait, no, this isn't supposed to happen. I feel like you didn't care about bringing my tools back on time. I do care. I just couldn't because the diner was so busy. I feel like you were impatient with me. Guys, hit it! I wish that you would just... Look at all of this. <laughs> oh, Chuck, you're a chip off the old engine block. The last time I remember seeing such smooth moves was when your dad and I first met. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Mom, Dad, I've been trying to get you to forget your argument by reminding you how much you love each other. <laughs> of course we love each other, Chuck. Honey, parents don't always agree. But it doesn't mean they don't still love each other. It... it doesn't? No. In fact, talking about disagreements helps us to work things out. Here, we'll show you what we mean. Holly, I'm sorry I didn't return your riveter sooner. And next time, I'll ask before I borrow your tools. Thank you, Porter. And I promise to be more patient if you can't return something right away. I know things can get busy very quickly at the diner. Huh? It worked. You just talked it out. And now you're back to normal. And that's what we always do. But, uh, Chuck, I kind of liked your clever plan. What do you say we try it again? Really? Okay. Oh, hello. My name's Porter. <laughs> I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. Would you, uh, like to dance? I'd love to. Get it! <laughs>